After yesterday's video in which I reviewed my mistakes in the ranked matches, I've made some changes to my loadouts, and so here's what I have right now. First of all, as always, there is the Kilo 1 for 1, and in my opinion it is the best assault rifle this season, because the overall firing grade, the damage, it is just what you want to combat against all those direct users, and pretty much any other gun as well. So for the gunsmith I have chosen this variant. I've made a separate video with many various gunsmiths, you can check it out afterwards. But it just gets the job done, it has more range, good mobility also, and nice ADS time, good BSA, so... It's really just what I want from this gun at the moment. Now I have the purifier just because I want my operator skills to match the whole energy of the loadout. And so basically equalizer would be just too fast, because the kilo is not a super fast gun. And when it comes to the claw, the claw is basically... It would just do the same thing that kilo does, so I don't need an extra kilo in my loadout. And since the gun has 50 bullets mag, I can achieve the more expensive score streaks more realistically, like the cluster strike and the advanced UAV, so they are here for this reason. Moving on we have the ground loadout, so almost everything is the same, except I have a quick fix, just because this gun to me it is like a dummy gun when I'm too tired and just want to play. And quick fix is a dummy pack, and so this is the gunsmith, it is Signox gunsmith, and I really need to make an ultimate gunsmith video, because there might be some better gunsmith, but at the moment it is just what I have going. And we have a spear because it is quite futuristic and just matches the theme of the Spectre loadout. As always there is the PP90 Bison because it is my just go-to gun for the Grindmaster lobbies when I just want to reach the legendary faster and as you can see there is the Cold Blooded Pack just to avoid the stealth choppers. As it basically makes you fully immune to them and more expensive score streaks because again many bullets in the gun so I can realistically reach them, and I have a claw here, but just because PP90 Bison and Claw, we have a pretty similar vibe, but Claw, it just adds some more versatility to the loadout, and a purifier would not do the same. The aggressive SMG loadout is the Fennec, it is just my favorite SMG at the moment for aggressive playstyle, and I've been using it for a few seasons now, pretty much since the time when the X9s and CX9s were dominating because this gun just, it can just take them down at close range with ease. And it started as my anti-meta gun and nowadays everyone is talking about how you should use it. And you definitely shoot it as a great gun. The gunsmith is pretty basic, I've tried some other variants but this just gets the job done. And so you can also see that these score streaks are cheaper this time just because this gun even though it has 40 bullets mag, but I am not as confident that I will reach the cluster strike or advanced UAV and I can just spam cheap score streaks and be happy. Now the new addition is the Type 19 and I've chose a more aggressive gunsmith without the suppressor but with the laser integrated foregrip. It is a gunsmith which I use when I just want to be aggressive in like a nuketown or simply do not care if enemies are going to find out where I'm shooting from. This is a bit of a berserk loadout and so it also has the equalizer for this reason. Just because I can be more fast paced with it and just keep the aggressive vibe going. And FEG loadout is an absolute must because you simply have to take down the stealth chopper. And while nowadays more people are using FEGs, which I am very happy about, but sometimes you will still be in a lobby where your teammates are just dropping down and you are losing a match to just one stealth chopper. And a bit of a switcheroo which I really enjoy is the firepower support, because with you are basically able to steal the stealth chopper after taking it down and I have actually had some lobbies in which I took down the stealth chopper, I received it, I deployed it and the enemies just started dying and the match was lost by them. So the rest of the loadout is just focused on rushing to the hard point or the objective after taking down the chopper because you waste time taking it down. So we have a PDW because it is a fast mobility gun with a lot of bullets mag. 
and we also have the reactor core just to wipe down some objective. Like you take down chopper, you rush with the PDV and then you wipe it out. To conclude the main 6 loadouts, but I also have a type 19 loadout in which I'm just trying out various gunsmiths or using a one with a suppressor, currently I have my gunsmith. I also made a video of more gunsmiths, you can check it out after, but I like it. Now this is my main long range loadout with the kilo which has the most range due to the maximum stock and the monolithic suppressor. Now I tried the variant with a tactical suppressor but even though ADS was in fact faster but the lack of range it felt. And I was performing a lot better with this variant so I just kept this variant. And as you can see I also have some very expensive scosics here alongside the hardline pack. Just because it is, it was a loadout which I used when I copied from an enemy and I really liked it. And this is a bit of a leftover from me recording a Die Rage video which I will upload someday soon. Just I decided to keep it at the moment because the gun is a solid meta option and so why not have it if I have one space available. And this is the gunsmith, I also have a video with more gunsmiths, you can try them out as well, but I really like the pace of this one and the monolithic suppressor just makes it a bit too slow. The rest here we have a claw just because the range only has 25 bullets. And I should really switch these claw streaks to some cheaper options as well. And the remaining two loadouts we are just for video recording, so it will be some random things. And well that concludes what I have for the season and I think that I've made a pretty balanced loadout selection which should grant me victories in more various diverse situations. Although the lobbies are still quite bad matchmaking wise but I mean at least I am doing the best that I can.